Hello, my name is Michael Glenn, and this is my uh, vlog for Library 100. Um, I went to... I like him, but... dot dot dot... The stigmas of interracial dating. Um, and I walked in, and I was surprised to see that there were about 24 people in the room. Um, myself and my friend Steven. And then there are four other guys in general. I believe they were all white. So then that left 18 uh, girls, and it, probably a, at least a dozen girls were black. So so we had um, not just black, but we had um, an Asian girl. We had a Filipino male. Um, and the instructor was a black male. So we had a lot of different points of view in terms of race. Um, but I, w I walked in, so I was, I was surprised to see um, the diversity. Um, so as we started, we talked about the difference between dialogues and debates and um, just like conversation in general. Um, and then after that, we started to get into the racial aspects. <clears throat> and for the most part, only about five or six people uh, talked, um, I mean, I was doing, I was doing a small bit of talking. I'll admit, I was taking a bit of an active role, and, uh, an active listener, um, I don't know, that's, that's more my role, you know, um, I mean, I'm, uh, I'll put in my two cents, uh, you can count on that, but it was more of an active listener, um, pretty much the Filipino man, male, uh, it was a freshman. Um, he did he did a lot of talking, and then a couple other girls, um, some of the African American girls, were doing a lot of talking. Um, let's see. Uh, my opinion on interracial dating did not change uh, as a result. I'm all for it. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I've thought a uh, okay a mix black girl was attractive and nice and you know up my alley so to speak so not gonna lie like i'd go for it i'd go for an asian if i thought it was right like i i'm not gonna discriminate not gonna discriminate um they keep it real uh on the other hand <coughs> would my parents be okay with it um yes they would be okay with it as long as it wasn't just some uh like, not to be so blunt, but as long as it wasn't, like, some girl... All right, I'm from Philadelphia, so if I brought home some, like, North Philadelphia girl... Ooh, bad news, bad news. But, um, as long as, you know, she's a nice girl, whatever. Um, but there were, there were differing opinions in the room. Um, I mean, some were, some were against it. Most people were pretty quiet, didn't say much, but, um... Uh, but, I don't know. There's some surprisingly strong opinions, like, not so much opinions, but, um, first-hand accounts of, like, what, pa a lot of it was based around, like, what, what the parents would think about it. Um, like, I know some girl in the class, she brought home a white male, she was an African-American female, she brought home a white male to, uh, her parents, and all along they were like, oh yeah, that's fine, that's fine. But once it happened, um, they were not so all right with it. Um, like it's just surprising what you what you think, and then what actually happens um, in terms of what the parents think. But uh, we sh we sort of strayed away from the dating aspect and just the general, um, like what people think of, like. Not so much interracial dating for themselves, but among others. Um, I don't know. Uh, yeah, but there were... Let's see, as I said, uh, active listener. There were probably about six people talking. Um, the One of the instructors, um, Jessie Taylor, I believe her name is, I did the impact program, so she was... Uh, one of the leaders, so it's good to see a familiar face. Um, I'm good. I'm friends with her. She's 
she's she's a darling I'll say it um, but I think the, the dialogues an aspect of library 100 simply because you need assignments to do and this is one of them like I don't I've heard a lot of people say it they think it's pretty dumb I'm not one to judge I mean well I am but I didn't think it was so bad I'd go back to another one like I was serious when I said that too um, and, uh, is it a useful tool? Uh, I'm not sure. Just like one one hour or two hour session is like all too useful of a tool. But yeah, I mean, I think it is. I think it is. Um, I, th I thought it was well run too, except we had a break 15 minutes before it was over. So I thought that was poorly timed, um, to be honest. But... As for my experience, I didn't think Library 100 was that bad. All the assignments. This is my last one. Um, I just did it. So, I don't know how to keep up. Dr. Appling, um, he was always helpful whenever I emailed him. So, I don't know. I, th I, think, you, I think you're doing a good job with this. Keep it up, Clemson. Uh, and additionally, I signed up for a new student dialogue around... <coughs> December 1st, which is the date after it's due. However, I went to a dialogue that was November 17th, I believe. Uh, it was like, yeah, it was around two weeks ago, but I think it was November 17th. Um, as I said, it was, uh, I like him, but the stigmas of interracial dating. Uh, so I hope there's no sign-up problems with that. I signed my name. Um, besides that, uh, I believe that's all for my vlog. Once again, I enjoyed it. I thought it was, I thought it was quite, quite um, interesting. They were people I hadn't seen on campus. Like, they weren't just like the regulars I'd see on the library bridge. They were just new faces, and it was good to see that. And it was good to see what just the opinions of people who have gone through it. So, that's that.